guys, welcome to my channel. So today I just, I will be reviewing some Korean sunscreens for you. I just want to say that these uh, sunscreens, none of them cause any white cast and most of them are suitable for pretty much every skin type. I don't have any makeup on so I probably look really gross. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, let's get into the review. So first of all, I have this uh, Misha sunscreen in SPF 45. It is the, um, it, yeah, SPF 45 plus plus plus, and this one is really good for people with dry skin. I really love this myself because I have really dry skin. I find it to be really moisturizing. It's got a really creamy consistency, almost like a whipped cream. So I think people that have uh, dry skin will really enjoy this moisturizer. I mean, sunscreen. Um, it does feel like moisturizer, by the way, so. Um, I'm almost out of this. Uh, if I hadn't already bought so many other sunscreens, <laughs> um, I would probably repurchase this. But yeah, this is one of the first Korean sunscreens I bought and I really, really love this. It's very, very good. It's very lightweight. It's not thick at all. So even if you do have oily skin, I don't think you'll have a hard time with this moisturizer in terms of it feeling greasy or sticky or anything because it's not. It's quite elegant, the formula. The only downside to all of most of these sunscreens is that they have fragrance on them. Not really sure why they put fragrance in the sunscreen, but yeah, it's really hard to find one that doesn't have any fragrance. So the second one I will be doing is also by Misha, and this is the uh, Aqua Sun Gel in 50 plus plus plus. So this is in like the same uh, product range. This one's just got like a different uh, consistency. It's more like the gel-like consistency, which you'll see in a minute. It's also quite funny. Um, compared to the other one, but uh, this is really nice. I really like this uh, It actually spreads very beautifully and Doesn't leave a white cast just like the other one. I mean none of them do so people that have like my complexion or are darker You will really benefit from these sunscreens. And yeah, this one is really really lovely uh, I think this one is better suited for people with oily or combination skin just based on the uh, consistency of it. I don't find it to be as moisturizing as the other one which is why I prefer which is why I prefer this one to this one. Um, I don't know if you can hear the lawnmower it's coming from outside. <laughs> so the Boy. next one I will be reviewing is one by Innisfree. I think that's how you say the brand name. I'm not really sure. Um, this is the Daily Mild Sunscreen. I actually got this from my mom. Uh, this is very, uh, very like minimal sunscreen, not like too complicated or anything. And it's not overly priced either. Um, I think I got this for $15. The reason why I got this one for my mom is because um, it's she doesn't really have any huge skin problems. Like her skin is normal, but she just got like slightly on the sensitive side. And like I said, it's really hard to find a sunscreen that isn't free of fragrance. But this one's like very good for people who have like a normal skin type because it's not too like. It's not too creamy, but it's not like a gel-like consistency. It's extremely inexpensive and um, it's got an amazing broad coverage, so you really can't go wrong with this sort of sunscreen. It does have like a light, citrusy, orangey sort of scent to it, but I mean, I really like it. I think my mom really likes it too. Oh, and it's coral reef friendly, which is something you don't often see in a lot of sunscreens. So that's also a bonus. Um, these three are definitely extremely inexpensive. They're, they're all under $20. I will link down below where I purchased all of these from. I think I got them pretty much all from the same website anyway. But, um, or like where you can purchase them. If you're not in Australia or New Zealand, um, you probably won't be able to purchase it from this website. But if you're like in the UK or the US or wherever somewhere in Europe I'm sure you guys can find um, online like you know depending on your country like 
I'm sure you'll be able to find a Korean store that sells these products because all of these uh, brands are pretty popular. So I don't think you'll have a hard time uh, finding. Uh, okay, so this one is the Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sun Cream, and this is my personal favorite. I didn't really understand why people raved about the sunscreen before I tried it, and let's just say I understand now. Um, it looks tiny, but honestly, it a little bit goes a long way, like most of these. Uh, I just got some on my knee. <laughs> um, this one is extremely moisturizing. It is much thicker. This is probably the thickest cream out of all of the ones that I will be reviewing. But in saying that, it's not like so thick. Like, uh, it's not like as thick as like the Nivea cream, for example. It's not like that thick. This is so moisturizing and so hydrating. It's got aloe in it, so that's really, really good for soothing skin. So if you have like a skin that gets burnt easily, you know, you will really benefit from the sunscreen. And if you have dry skin, you will really appreciate this moisturizer. And I wouldn't be surprised if this ended up being your favorite as well. And the um, aloe smell in it is really nice as well. I'm not sure why uh, CosRx didn't make this unscented or hadn't released an unscented uh, sunscreen. Like, a lot of their products are known for being um, unscented, so I'm not sure why they decided to put um, fragrance in their sunscreens, but um, yeah. And again, the, the only downside I can really say to all of these sunscreens is that they have fragrance in them, apart from one. And um, other than that, I really can't complain. Um, I have enjoyed using all of these sunscreens, and apart from like two of them, most of them are under $20, or at least under $25, and so that's very affordable. Um, so this next one here is the Dr. Jart Every Sunday, and this is this is one of my favorite sunscreens um, to use on my body. I love the consistency of this. It is so hydrating and I'm almost finished with this bottle so that's really unfortunate. But oh my gosh guys, this is <laughs> amazing. And I really wish they made this in like a 300 or 500 ml bottle because I would use this and I would happily pay more money for a bigger size. This is the nicest sunscreen I've applied on my body. I don't like it as much on my face for some reason. I think I prefer like a creamier sunscreen on my face just because I'm used to using very moisturizing, creamy sort of creams, creamy creams. <laughs> but um yeah but anyway it's like it's like a sun milk uh texture it's very runny like milk is uh that's what that looks like and it spreads on beautifully wow it's just oh my god it feels really nice i'm very surprised that this one is not more popular i tried to look for a review for this online on youtube and i couldn't find it when i was trying to decide whether or not to buy it in the end i just kind of went for it and i'm so glad i did so yeah that's this one this sunscreen would suit any skin type dry because it's a very hydrating combination oily and if you can tolerate fragrance for your sensitive skin, then yes, for you as well. I don't know about people with eczema or rosacea, like I don't, I would just avoid anything with fragrance if you have those problems because it's just not worth it. Um, yeah, and it, I do actually have some sunscreens that are fragrance free, they're not Korean, but they are fragrance free, so I will definitely do a review on them because I think that it's important for every sort of skin type and skin condition to have some sort of options, and if you're not aware of them, then you won't know. And I didn't know these things till I watched reviews and did my own research, so I think, you know, I would like to include every sort of category of skin type and skin concern if I can just based on the products that I have purchased myself so high uh, the highest UV uh, protection that you can get and plus 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 is just like broad spectrum 
So yeah, this I just I have no complaints about it. And other than that, I wish the fact that they made a bigger bottle. And also, it's such a cute little bottle. <laughs> um, the next one is again a Misha brand. It's called Misha Essence. Um, this is in a different product range to the first two I did. The consistency of this is very similar to the Dr. Jart one. It's very milky, very runny. It's probably why they call it some milk, <laughs> I'm assuming. Very high protection, 50 SPF++. Um, so that's really good. I think this uh, one as well, it just it spreads on really nicely, it's very thin. You just don't really feel like you're wearing a sunscreen to be honest. I mean you don't really for any of them, but these two light ones especially, you just don't. Um, yeah, and I think uh, it has a slight dewy finish, not shiny, just like slight dewy. It's not like so obvious, but you'll notice it because you've put it on. Um, none of these have like a matte finish or anything, but in saying that, they are not greasy at all, so I wouldn't worry about that. Um, this one I think is probably best suited for people with uh, either combination skin or oily skin. Uh, just not really dry skin because it's not hydrating or moisturizing per se, but I mean in saying that, there's no downside to wearing this for people with dry skin and if you have a good moisturizer on underneath you'll be fine it's just at the end of the day it's like what you prefer you know if you want your sunscreen to be slightly creamier then go for that if you want it to be sort of runny and gel like go for that like there's a lot of options in korean skincare and sunscreen <laughs> they have so many it's like honestly at the end of the day as long as you have a sunscreen on it's better than having no sunscreen on so yeah, there's that one. I am doing the Perito Centella Green Unscented. They also have a scented uh, version of this. See, so yeah, this is the unscented version I was talking about. Now, the reason why I left it till last minute is because recently Perito has come under scrutiny for falsely advertising the SPF level. Um, I don't really know what the deal around that is, so apparently they're not actually 50 um, SPF, it's more like 20 or something. I don't really know how legit this is or whatever, but in terms of a sunscreen, the consistency of this is nice. It has no fragrance, which is a bonus. It's basically suited for her skin type, and it has Centella in it, which is very healing, very soothing for the skin. It's very calming and moisturizing and this is sort of the consistency of it. It's really an all-round sunscreen. I don't think any skin would be at a disadvantage from using this. And it's it would be unfortunate if the SPF was not as high as it claims, but in saying that, it's not like it doesn't have any either. So yeah, this one would be probably the best for people who can't tolerate fragrances. I really like it. I don't have any complaints with it. I have no qualms with this brand, so I mean, for me, it's just like, you know, but it is unfortunate when brands falsely advertise something claiming to be something they're not, but let's be honest, it wouldn't be the first time that they did that, and probably won't be the last. Um, many brands in the past have done this, and I'm sure it's nothing new, so that's just what I'll say on that. And it. But like I said, I have no problems with the sunscreen. As you see, it has no white cast. Oh, and I forgot to mention, none of these sunscreen cause any sort of pilling, so they're fine to use under makeup if you want. And also, if you want to reapply throughout the day, it's pretty, um, it's not a problem either. It doesn't feel like tacky or anything. They're really elegant formulations, I think, and I do enjoy using all of them. <laughs> I seem to have developed some sort of collection. <laughs> I never thought I would be the type of person who would get excited about buying sunscreens. And I really hope this helps people that have like brown complexion or darker because for us it's really hard to find a sunscreen. Like a lot of products are not catered towards people of like with skin of color. It's catered up to like white people and that's really unfortunate. So I think it's really great, you know, that there are these uh, sunscreens available for people that have color or pigment in their skin and um, I think Korean sunscreen is the way to go personally. There's just more choice, more options, uh, really really reasonable prices. Um, this is probably the only 
most expensive one I would say at $39. I think this one was $27, but all of the other ones are under $25 or, 25 or below, so that's really cool. Um, I hope this, um, I hope you found this review helpful and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, so.